Welcome back. It's your boy Nightfall here. And we're still in more supply. And this one's more like quid pro quo. Of course my vehicle is no longer here. Because it's at my warehouse. Oh wait, is this the water plant I would dam and everything? Oh no. Ah, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Anyways, it's just capturing and shit. There we go. Holy shit. Keep your eyes on the road and not texting, guy. Unless you're a boss. Like me. Yeah. Just make sure that you pay attention to the road, otherwise, you'll end up murdering someone that you don't want to murder. Or not. Because this is Grand Theft Auto, Los Santos. Anyways, I am finally uh, off of my little two week two week vacation from work, and I had a fun day. I was up on a ladder about 20, 25 feet above some ovens in an enclosed space. So yeah, we're getting a little bit toasty up there. I already look like a burnt marshmallow. Not burnt marshmallow, but a uh, perfectly done marshmallow. And yeah, I didn't want to get any darker. Because then I'll start looking more like caramel than marshmallow. Yes, I'm mixed. So I'm not white, but I'm also not uh, dark brown. I don't really like saying black because. No one is really ever truly black. Except for a few people like my dad. Guess I can make that joke because I am his son. So I got the black card of approval. Yeah. Speaking of the black card of approval, earlier at work, we was Oops. We was talking about uh they're a contract company from the East Coast down south, and they were talking about how it was hot and humid and stuff. And it brought up uh, the times when I was younger when I fainted and stuff from the heat. And I actually experienced more racism from the people in my neighborhood. It was a black neighborhood. I just use black right now because it's simpler. More racism from them than any other race in my entire life. Directed at me who was also uh, not completely black with me. And yeah, when they said black people can't be racist, no fucking you know can be racist. Anyone can be racist. My brother, uh, he, he's not racist. He just uh, disrespects everyone equally. He even disrespects his own self. Just don't talk about my mom because he's a mama's boy. I am going to actually catch <laughs> I love this car. Oh, fuck, I'm supposed to eliminate them. Okay, back to the car. Even though that equals that, I most likely will have a limited ammo. Can I drive in there? Oh, yes. Fear me because I am immortal.
Oh, can I just drive into this and destroy it? No. Alright, I just have to kill these people then blow shit up. Oh shit, he can shoot me right here. Okay, I... Get out of my way. But wait. You're the key still. <laughs> Bounce for me. Does that buzzard have weapons? Yes, it does. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh great. Where's this guy who's shooting me? Oh, behind me. Oh great. Fuck, I missed my turn. Oh great, I'm running into a red person. Fuck. Fuck. Ah oh, great. Rival business man. Fuck. I wish I could get rid of this guy. Try to keep innocent civilian. Out of it, fucking hell! Because of these cars, they make everyone get in front of me. But when I try to do that, they're they're just immune to it. I will say this though, back to the people that I grew up with who were. Races and picking at me and stuff. After my dad uh, taught me how to fight and everything and whatnot, uh, and I basically beat them all, my dad basically had a spot, and his logic behind that was uh, he would rather have us box it out, like with boxing rules and stuff. He doesn't let anyone get on top of the other person, and I like, basically Brawl, he had like rules and stuff. When one person was squarely losing and stuff, he will stop. He doesn't care who won or lost because if you get your ass whooped, if you get your ass whooped, you'll, you'll do better the next time. But after that, we all became friends and stuff. Got along pretty, along, uh, got along with each other pretty well. Was on the same baseball team that my dad. Actually, coach, and we won our first ever tournament. But sad to say, I moved from that area because it was getting too violent in that city. So we moved back to where I was born. But some after my dad left, the uh, gang members in in the neighborhood uh, took back over and was basically in charge of the kids and stuff in. My dad was a gold model. He kept them in school and everything. Even if while he was fighting and stuff, he kept them in school. And without his influence, they had no one else to look up to and was easily manipulated into joining the game that they are no longer here. Well, most of them were then. The ones that was able to get out through scholarships and stuff. They're still around. But yeah, my best friend actually, who was in a previous video of mine, uh, the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies one, we actually was uh, rivals and stuff, and we became friends from fighting. If you want, I could tell that story some other time, because this video is getting little bit long 
for my liking. I really just like editing down large videos because I want everything to be seen, but I'm getting better at it. Also got some sound effects that I want to try out, so. Yeah, if I want this video to be uploaded tomorrow before I go to bed, I'll have to do that stuff now. Ah, oh, great. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. This has been another criminal, criminal mastermind. Hit that like button down below. Please subscribe. Uh, comment something that you want me to do on this series. And have a nice day.